Now let's take a look at jumper wires. Jumper wires are used to make connections between components when building your Arduino prototypes. I know it sounds like a simple topic. It is, but I've got a few tips and tricks. First of all, most jumper wires that you're going to want to build when you're using breadboards or building any kind of circuit is solid core. And what that means is that there's one conductor in this wire. There's stranded, which would have multiple conductors and solid core. Solid core typically will hold its position, but more importantly, when we strip the end of the wire, it allows us to easily insert it into something like a breadboard and it will stay there. If you use stranded wire, good luck. It's not easy to do. There are ways of making it work, but you don't want to use it in general. So this is 22 gauge. You can typically buy them in sets. This is a multicolor set and it works beautifully for creating circuits like this one. This is actually an Arduino compatible breadboarded circuit. There's an 18 mega 328 there, powered regulator, some LEDs for testing, and it's built on a breadboard. Now you can see using multicolor wires, very handy for identifying different circuits. Here, I'd even argue that I should use black and red for positive and negative. But the important part is that I used multiple colors. Now, how do you create your own jumper wires? I love these pliers. This is my number one tip for making jumper wires. These are fantastic. They're relatively affordable. I believe you pronounce this Exalite, and they are wonderful for making jumper wires. Now you can buy jumper wires already pre-made. They have the ends stripped, but the reality is by the time you find the exact size that you need, you probably could have just made your own. And we're prototyping, we're not mass manufacturing. The reality is, here's a cell phone project. Right? This is a fully functioning touchscreen cell phone. Guess what? There's not even a jumper wire in here. So when prototyping, you typically don't need that many. So I say make your own. How do you do it? I use these pliers and I will kind of put a mild pressure and go around the wire and then pull it. That's one end stripped around here. About a quarter inch should do. And there's two ends stripped. Now I have the perfect jumper wire for building a circuit. Now, there's even easier ways. You can buy these. They typically come in rainbow patterns. These are male to male jumper wires. You pull them off. And if you wanted to attach something to say pin analog zero, plug it in here and I can plug it into here. Makes your life really easy. You can buy them in multiple lengths. Here's about a eight inch length. These are just about four or five inches. They're relatively affordable and really handy. Now, what people haven't really seen a lot of is they also make them in female to female versions. You should have some of these in your prototyping kit. Why? Well, let me show you. If I were to take a female to female jumper wire set here, and here's a little temperature breakout board, I can actually attach the pins that have already been soldered onto this breakout board to the female ends. And then on this end, I could very easily pull off three male to male, plug them into here. And now if I wanted to connect this to my Arduino or if I wanted to breadboard it for here, I'm just gonna put it anywhere in this breadboard. I have the ability to, within an enclosure, move this sensor anywhere I want. And I've also hooked it up without soldering. So, I recommend you get a variety of different male to male, female to female, and male to female jumper wires in all different shapes and sizes. These will save you a ton of time.